Hello, hello everyone. Linux IIO driver. Basically, IIO is an expansion of industrial input output. This session will give you that information about industrial IIO subsystem of Linux kernel. Basically, basically that industrial IIO so or something like a 4 to 20 milliamps or a 0 to a 12 volts uh, something like a 0 to 5 volts something like a 0 to 20 milliamp here those kind of analog signals it can be a input it can be a output from the systems basically because of that industrial ios subsystem majorly plays with that the components like uh, analog to digital and a digital to analog converter Basically, earlier we have that some system called hardware monitor and input subsystems. It basically gives that something like a hard monitoring the hardware for the ADC value, those things that can be done over. But since it was the the IA wave, the industrial I/O devices based frameworks are in, keeps on developing. That devices are developing. It was developed with that industrial I/O framework or subsystem in the Linux kernel which is generalized device registrations and handling which will be on top of an character device basically it's like a character device for example I am having my system over here maybe you can see that I can see that cat, cat frog devices here in the character list I am having that IAO basically IIO will be registered like a character device and whenever we add that IO the systems the minor number will get add we can accommodate as many IIOs based on to that IIO standards that we can able to see now and we have that it has something like a trigger to show something like the interrupt is occurred for example in case of ADC that complete analog to digital conversion is done all those things has to be updated to the user space that needs something like kind of a data ready trigger something like a based on GPO, based on RTC based on Sysophus that can be informed to the user space so that user can access the data to get it back get and use the same basically here we have some of the devices which are supported over the IAO it's something like devices uh, analog to digital converter, accelerometer and digital to analog converters and gyroscopes and ambient light sensor, magnetometer and then pressure sensor, proximity sensor and temperature sensors all will come under the category of industrial IO uh, devices. It has that uh, the support for those devices basically and we have the some of the things the architecture how it will be basically the architecture will be something like a uh, we have application in the system call interface which is generic to the any driver and we will be having that something like uh, the IIO framework over here it will be having that hardware access and we have that IIO ring and IIO core which has that uh, registration and unregistration how to handle that IIO structure all those things that it handles over here and uh, for example data ready triggers those things something like using a GPU, RTC, using the SysFS that will be handled over using the IIO trigger over here and we have that different things which is built on top of the character driver basically it's a character driver it has that uh, uh, for example it has built some framework IIO framework that it has to be used on top of the character driver so that all the driver devices related with the industrial IOs will fall into this IIO categories we no need to use that multiple major numbers and minor numbers which is falls under the same category or same bus basically that we can able to see over there and we have that something like a kind of a UDU access UDU new board has the different access something like a ADC it ha contains two ADCs uh, which uses that system sysbus IIO devices is the sysfs path to access that basically maybe we can go there sysbus IIO and then devices here I am having two devices maybe it is in device IIO device 0 
and IIO device one. I am having two devices since that ADC has it has uh, Udunio has provided with the two ADC and four channels each basically. And ADC one will be something like IIO device zero, and uh, ADC two is something like IIO device one. It was directed. For example, Udunio basically contains that Arduino based connectors if you wanted to read that analog signals from a0 to a5 that we can use that corresponding one maybe we can use that uh, something like uh, cat iio device 0 and i'm having something like a uh, in voltage 0 underscore raw i'm reading the raw value over here and maybe i'm going to use read that raw values of that uh, ADC one, 0 and the channel 1 I am going to read ADC 0 channel 2 and I am going to read ADC 0 channel 3 basically it supports with the 4 channels we can able to read raw how we can able to how that the driver is implemented that we can able to see over here and structure mapping those things maybe a similar way I can do that for device 1 and in voltage 0 underscore raw and i'm having in voltage one underscore raw and i'm having one and voltage underscore two raw so that it treats that adc one and channel three that it reads basically and basically the similar way we have that something like a file operation structure in the character de device it has been overridden with that different structure the device iio dev structure that it has that very limited access to that uh, limited access and specific to that IIO devices basically that we can able to see over here and uh, we have that stuck IIO dev members that something like a dev parent is the one which which is device associated with that underlying hardware and the name obviously the name of the device and info is the one structure of pointer with the elements which provides the more information and access towards access and towards the reading and writing basically here we have that attributes for example events attributes for example we have that what are the attributes here maybe we can check iio device zero and i'm having that attribute something like a sampling frequency available something like i am having that this many attributes the sampling frequencies are, are available that we have to pass it through the into that attribute sections that we have and we have that read draw whenever we are going to read that here by using this in voltage draw that corresponding the read draw function will get call and uh, it has to be it gets the data to the apply user space basically and we have that write raw function which we can write that data in case of digital to analog converter basically analog to digital converter we just we have to read that digital data and in case of digital to analog converter we will write the data that comes out of the as analog output basically here we have that driver module which is the owner of the driver owner of this module and we have that different operations something like uh, modes direct or ring buffer based access for example if it since it is a adc based one it has to be something like uh, just reading the data for example if you are you, you are accumulating and uh, making a graph for example something like you wanted to show that something like uh, how the adc signals are coming that it has you wanted to plot then you have to make it like a ring buffer mode so that you will get that uh, you will you will not miss any data that data will be available in the ring buffer and the ring buffer can be read by the user space basically for to plot plot that graph on the applications basically and we have that the channels attribute of the struct of the structure member function member uh, member variable it's something like a specification for that uh, device channel and we have that number of channels number of channels supported by this driver basically or driver or something like a, that supported with the ADC for example Udunio has two ADC each with the four channels we will be giving that four is the one over here and we have that the kernel IIO APIs 
something like IIO device once there is once this structure is filled up and we have to pause that for the registrations IIO device register it will basically register the IIO, IIO device with the character device node of IIO and we can use that for example adding multiple register something like uh, I from uh, driver A IO register driver B IO register something like it keeps on adding something like it the diff with the different minor numbers and IIO will be the major number basically and we have that something something like uh, IIO device unregister which something like uh, unregisters the IIO device from the kernel space and we can see that some sample implementation something like we have seen that whatever we are seeing over here in the Udo new platform uh, something like we can uh, we are accessing all those things that it happens over here something like uh, we are giving that attributes these are all the attributes maybe we can see that those attributes are available here which is absolutely matches 194 559 286 and 145 and 73 it's absolutely matches over here what are the attributes frequency available over here that we can define over here so that we will get that attributes which can be configured over the sampling frequency and we have that options once we done we can use that something like uh, attributes groups and then we can do that read and write raw basically the raw functions it can be write and read and we have that information something like uh, the field filling that information name dev parent of node and then info structure and then mode is the direct mode over here and uh, channels or something like uh, four channels each the iao channel and we have that number of channels is something like a maximum of four channels and we are doing the registration we are done with the registration and whenever we call the read raw over from the user space is the, or the sysfs using the sysfs and that particular function will get called and we will get that respective adc data basically and uh, uh, in the during the un unregister we will be doing something like uh, iio device unregister so that it will be we can be used that basically and we can know we can see over here we got gone to sleep mode yeah it's something like this maybe i can take it over here yeah this is the this is basically uh, yeah IIO driver based on ADC which is something like VF610 something like VF610 is something like a core of IDOT which is the IP of that uh, NXP which is used in the different processor cores in IMX6 Soul AX the same core same IP core has been used for that the driver remains same over here and we can see IIO device register to get that and uh, in the IIO information over here and we have that IIO info IIO info contains read and write raw and read raw will contain something like we can able to read that and we can able to get that information and write raw will write that sampling frequency if you wanted to change that sampling frequency basically over there and uh, we have that we, we can able to redraw that different argument something like what we can say is the raw raw value and we can read that uh, channel information and we can read that sampling frequency current sampling frequency that similar over here we have that we have that something like this something like in voltage underscore sampling frequency which is the current sampling frequency is 559332 is the current one similar way we can do that if you wanted to read that that corresponding this section of code will be get executed basically that sampling frequency available 
and we have the current scaling and we have the to read the current uh, value of the uh, ADC basically yeah here yeah this gives that some in, uh, important in, uh, some brief information about that the industrial live and we have that if you have any clarification you can contact me at nvhariharan at the rate of nevitech.com thank you for watching subscribe for more updates